I'm going to demonstrate um, the use of Xebo on Android with this laptop. It's an old laptop, 4 gigabytes of RAM, for power. I thought, I think, yeah, that was wrong. Now I'm going to turn the um, indicator on. 3, 2, 1. Not pressing anything. This is all part of the process, but you can change some of the um, text elements. The um, first boot process is the BIOS logo, which you can change, obviously, and the rest is all uh, customizable. Now we are in Android. We must just take selections and then you can put it on the table after you put it on the table. So when you're at Google, this is good. Um, you'll type the following Xebo APK and then you can use the official Xebo website um, and that is recommended so you click this and then you go to below and you'll see here Xebo for Android here you have the download button You'll select this button and you'll select download. You can get a warning, ignore that and just bypass the uh, pre-installed Android security. But I think I don't get it because I already accepted it for most apps. Select Xebo as the main default home and then you'll give Xebo permission to your storage. Location is also recommended because then you can see if somebody stole your screen. So if somebody steals your portable screen, you can check the location. Now you can just fill in your address, like I have this one to show you first. This one is a little bit boring, but I'm going to show this one and another one to give you a demonstration. Fill in your secret key, code is not recommended. I select connect CMS. Here you see it's now registered and awaiting authentication. And to authenticate the display, we can go on another laptop. This one, I'm just going to put it on top. So this is just my Windows laptop. I'm going to log into the Xebo interface. And you can also do this on your phone. That's your choice. So this is my Xebo admin interface. This. Here you'll see two orange um, things. You can ignore the last one because I already tried it, but you only see the stack. And you'll select see the second one, that is the new one. Here you'll see a row menu, select that and then select authorize. It asks you, are you sure you want to authorize? Yes. Then you can put this away and now it's just one um, button. Again, connect CMS, that magic happened. This row is automatically going to hide as you can see, and three, two, one. I don't know. Do it as deep as long. I is well based, but I do it for long. As you can see, this is a production um, version, and it's just night and day. This is very professional, and it's only using these cheap resources, a old laptop, and, and then it can do its thing on itself. Yeah, I will it not skip it, I will it see. It's just doing the boot up process, it can take a while, but as you can see, you don't need to press any buttons. It's just going to boot Android, 
it's going to start the default home app and that's Xebo and it works. And I'll pack it in to sit up the achtergrond in the own foot. But it does just its thing and it works plain. And so call i5 Windows 7 so that theaters en laten we die even uitspelen 10 seconden en dan is het klaar en pak ik kijken en kun je op pauze ik ga dit gewoon even op achtergrond doen en dan uh, aanzet oké okay. okay. ja mee van ja oké okay. when you have authenticated the devices just click the connect button again on both phones you'll need to skip the license on both phones Sorry. This one works. And this one also works. 10 euros on Marktplatz or eBay. 100 euros on Marktplatz or eBay. 2016-2020. Different hardware but a great show. It is not laggy if you see closely. Can you make a zoom of we that will do? Because it needs to load the widgets first, but after it has one two days, it is more in sync with all this. And this is also G GIF picture, so it's not the best FPS. But if you look closely, the RSS feed is very fluent. So that's an S5. This is an 820e. That's also very fluent, and the white bars are just a layout thing, a resolution, so that's, that doesn't matter, you can imagine those away. So, as you can see, it just works flawlessly on multiple devices, and it doesn't matter which device you have. Mm -hmm. okay. So, Xebo is started automatically on the left phone. Stupid white phone. <laughs> Please, They're both starting up though. Kijk, dit ook laten zien. Maar dan op een laptop ook, maar dat is even mislukt. Wel grappig hoe het verschilt, hè, per telefoon. So, this one works. This one works. And you also can do it on a laptop or another device. It's so clean, come on. Have you tried okay, turning yeah, it on and off again? It's already playing. Leuk. <laughs> ja? Het is er heel lang aan. This is the Android phone. Now it's turning the laptop on. Oh. En dit wil ik er wel even op dat het even duurt. En dan als je straks stroom ziet, wil ik heel even een paar dia's voorbij laten gaan. En dan, dan vind ik het op best. Dan post ik het op YouTube en ben ik blij. En niet alles stuk, het lijkt gewoon niet op. Dukte even niet zeggen dat het stuk is. <laughs> Toch? <laughs> Joh, je mag wel praten. <laughs> Ik bedoel, je lacht maar heel uit, je helpt me niet. So, Kijk, het werkt. It works. En nog wel aan laten gaan, want ik wil even die dia's voorbij uh, paar. So the funny thing is, this is a Intel Core i5, two cores, two gigabytes RAM. This phone has three gigabytes RAM. So it it's really different, but it works flawlessly, as you can see. It was a sticker, G GIF picture on a website, embedded, Google iCall, just all the default Xebo stuff. But then one on Android, one on Android for PC, but you can also do it on Windows, Linux, etc. Works on very um, different devices, doesn't matter. And it started itself, and that's it. The end.